Okay, hello, um, Aries. How are you guys doing? Sexy, sexy, sexy. Okay, I hope you guys um been doing okay. All right, this is Heavenly Tarot. I'm doing a general read on you guys, okay? A collective read for the population, okay? It may resonate with you guys and it may not, okay? All right. All right, and I thank all my subscribers who have subscribed to my channel. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I thank the viewers who stopped in to view. Okay, please subscribe, share, and like my channel, you guys, okay? I thank you and really appreciate it, okay? So we're going to see what's going on in you guys' energy. All right. Aries. Holy Spirit, show me what's going on with Aries and their energy, Holy Spirit. Aries. Okay, so Aries, you, you guys are doubting a situation that you're going through. You're in doubt, okay, about a situation that's going on with you guys, all right? Mm. Okay, there's a blonde. I'm hearing blonde. Somebody's involved with someone with blonde hair. A blonde. I'm hearing Taurus. Maybe she's a Taurus, okay? There's something about a blonde, okay? I'm just hearing blonde involvement with a blonde okay i'm hearing taurus <clears throat> or maybe she has taurus in her chart or he okay or you can have blonde hair okay okay so some of you aries are seeing someone that's being a stallion to you guys wow you putting this person on the on the on a pedestal you see this person as being a stallion. I'm hearing the word stallion. Why? Okay, so you guys are feeling mighty. Okay. Some of you guys are feeling abundant. Mighty and abundant. Okay. So things are going good in your finances. I'm hearing abundance. Okay. Okay. Chivalry, okay? Happiness going on with you guys. Okay. <sighs> Pro produce. I'm hearing something about producing something. Some of you guys have produce producing on your mind. Okay, something is challenging to some of you guys. You're going through a challenge in a situation. It's challenging to you. Okay? Stay strong. You guys are strong. You can handle it. I'm hearing child support. Somebody's worried about paying child support. Okay? Worried that they might have to pay child support. Okay? Okay, I'm hearing make sure that baby's yours. I'm hearing not yours, but I don't know. Make sure that's what I'm hearing. If this is if this is if somebody hears this, I'm hearing not yours. So before you pay any money, you better make sure that child is really yours. Okay. I'm hearing they're tricking their trickery. Using it to hold on to you. Saying it's yours. Okay. Oh, yep. There we go. The Empress card popped out. Somebody's pregnant. Holy Spirit. Let's see what's going on with your energy. Okay. Page of Cups. Okay. You're having creative ideas in this situation. Pisces, Scorpio, um, or Cancer card, okay? Water sign card, okay? King of Pentacles, your stability, thinking of your stability, okay? Um, Six of Wands, you, thinking of moving forward in a victory. You want a victory in this situation, okay? Seven of Pentacles, okay? You 
thinking of growth. Okay, how to grow. You're thinking about how to grow. Okay, so, so we're going to start with this empress. This pregnant woman. This pregnant person. Venus card. So there's somebody. Either you're pregnant, Aries. Or somebody in your energy pregnant. Or you're seeing yourself having a family with someone. Okay, this is a Taurus. So this Taurus may be pregnant. Okay, or you're seeing yourself as having a family with this Taurus. You see this Taurus is being beautiful. Okay. But you're going through a, a struggle. A nine of wands, Aries. You're going through a struggle with this Taurus person. Okay. And you're almost through the struggle. Okay. Holy Spirit, clarify this nine of wands. Or either this Taurus is pregnant or you want a family with her. You know, Aries. Okay, so you're feeling stuck and trapped. Holy Spirit, clarify. Okay. With someone, the Three of Pentacles, you're feeling trapped with someone you, you're, you're in a relationship with, that you're building a relationship with. Holy Spirit, clarify. You're working on your relationship. And you're feeling trapped in this relationship you're working on. Okay? You're trying to be patient in the situation that you're feeling out in the cold with. You're feeling out in the cold in this relationship. Okay? Alright? With the King of Cups. A cancer. So this sounds like a third party situation. You you're you're with the Taurus. There's a Taurus that's pregnant. Okay, you have a family with the Taurus that's pregnant. Okay, you're going you're struggling with this person. They're trapped. They're feeling trapped. Okay. And you're working hard. To mend this relationship. And you're being patient about it. Okay. At the same time you're feeling out in the cold. Or you could have cancer in your chart. This is you too. It's showing you feeling out in the cold. Cancer. So you're Aries cancer. You have cancer in your chart. You might be more cancer than Aries. Okay. But. Holy Spirit clarify this king of cups. Yeah, you're feeling out in the cold and you may be emotional about it because this is a card of emotions too. It could just be saying that. You must have Scorpio in your chart as well. The Scorpio, Scorpio, Cancer, Aries. Okay? But you're emotional because you fear this is ending. Yeah. You're emotional because it's ending. You're about to walk away. Or this Taurus did walk away from you. You're emotional because the Taurus walked away. The pregnant person walked away from you. Okay. Yep. So either that's what's going on. This Taurus who is you have a family with and they're pregnant. All right. Well, you could just have a family with them. You have kids with them. All right. You're married to this person. All right. You've been through a struggle with this person. And this struggle has you feeling stuck. Because you're trying to mend the relationship with this Taurus. You're in a state of confusion. Alright. You're waiting patiently for the relationship to heal itself. And at the same time, you're feeling like you're out in the cold. Okay. You're not getting any emotions from this Taurus. 
They have you feeling out in the cold. It has you emotional. You're not getting emotions. Okay? This is endings. And this you you have Scorpio in your chart. And you're emotional. Okay? And it has you walking away. Yeah, it has you wanting to walk away. Okay? Wow. I hope you can fix that. You guys need to communicate, open up, and talk about it. See what's going on. Talk about what's going on. All right. Okay. Um, page of Cups. Creative Ideas. Or Pisces. Scorpio Cancer is in your energy, Aries. Or this is you with that in you. Okay? So you want to come in and announce. You're trying to have creative ideas on how to announce something to someone. Page of Wands. Aries, Sag, Leo. Okay? That's you. Okay? Emperor, there you go again. Aries, bossing and controlling. Okay, you're trying to control the situation. You're trying to have, that you're trying to have creative ideas in. How to announce something. Okay, something that's challenging to you. Okay? Or it could be about a Gemini. But it's challenging. How to come in and announce this. Okay? To someone. To an Aquarius. It's something you want to say to an Aquarius. A queen of sword. Okay? But this is challenging to you to come out and announce this to this um, Aquarius. Okay? And it's about a Gemini. Okay? Alright? The king of sword. Alright? In the situation, you're not wavering in the situation. You just find it challenging. Holy Spirit, you're standing your ground, but you just find it challenging. Holy Spirit, clarify the King of Swords. <clears throat> and this Aquarius may have may have Libra in her chart, or you have Libra in your chart. Eight of Pentacles. Okay, you're working hard. You're not wavering. You're trying to. You're standing your ground. You're working hard at standing your ground, cause you, you don't want this to end. The world card, or you're working hard because you know there's endings and a, there's a new beginning coming. Holy Spirit, Spirit, clarify the world card. The world card. Because this is completion. You're working hard. Your eight of pentacles. On. Things with this. Um, or you're working hard. For this new beginning to come. Holy Spirit clarify the world card. Let's see. Clarify the world card. Yeah. So you're ready to move forward. In a success. In a new beginning. And you're working hard toward this. Okay? Alright? And you want to move forward to someone that you are um, with a um, someone that you're you feel that you're addicted to. But you're attached to that Aquarius. Okay? And the Aquarius has Capricorn, so yeah, you want to move forward and success, and you're married. So yeah, with the person you're married to, okay. Because here go the hair font card. Alright. So that's what you're working hard towards. A new beginning with who you're with. You want to move forward and a success with this Capricorn, which your sp the person you're with probably has Capricorn in their chart. And you're attached and addicted to this person that you're with. See? The hair font card. You're married to this person. Okay? You want to be able to celebrate with this person. You want to come back to the times you used to celebrate with this person. You want that back. Holy Spirit, clarify the um, Three of Cups.
Okay, yeah, you want to enjoy life with this Aquarius. Celebrate. Okay? Or it's saying this Aquarius is attached to someone else, but you're addicted to her. Okay? They're married to someone else, but you want to be with this person. You want to celebrate with this Aquarius. Okay? All right? You want to enjoy life with the Aquarius. Okay? That's what I picked up as well. When you want to come in and announce to this Aquarius about this Gemini person that you, that you were with. Okay? And that this person might be bossy and controlling this Gemini. And you want to share this with, you want to come in and announce. And you want to tell this Aquarius that you want to be with her. Because you're addicted to the, that Aquarius. Alright, Aries? That you're attached to someone else. The Gemini. There you go. Yep. You want to celebrate with this um, Aquarius. Wow. All right, I wish you luck with that situation. All right, Aries. Okay, let's move on. I wasted too much time on that one. Okay, so we have the King of Pentacles. Stability. Okay, you, you have stability on your mind. Or it could be a Capricorn. Holy Spirit, clarify this King. Of, or you could have Capricorn in your chart, Aries. Okay, so you're fighting off suitors in the situation you're stable in. Holy Spirit, clarify the Seven of Wands. Clarify the Seven of Wands. You don't want nobody else. You, yeah, you just fight. Yeah, but there's a tower moment in your stability situation. Okay. Okay, it could be with the Capricorn Aries. Okay. But there's a... there. You was trying to fight suitors off. Come, when it comes to your stability, okay? Maybe you your finances in your finance area. I'm trying to protect your finances. But there's a tower moment. Holy Spirit, clarify. Clarify this tower card, Holy Spirit. Okay, yeah, so you're thinking... Of how to save your stability. How to keep your stability. You're thinking about it. Trying to find. Be strategic. Okay. Alright. Four cups. Okay. So you want to offer. So you want to offer something. Okay. You want to offer your cup. To the person you want stability with. A situation. Yeah. That you was fighting off suitors in. There was a disaster. So you're trying to come up strategize and how to come in and fix it and offer your cup to the person you 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 want this stability with or that you had the stability with you guys may not have had a commitment but you were stable with the person so you want to come in now that there's trouble going on you want to come in and offer them a cup all right and you're in decision mode you're in hermit mode okay how to come in and do this you're thinking Strategizing how to how to get this balance with this person that you that you were stable with. You want it back. Okay? You've been enlightened on something about this person. It's probably a Capricorn. Alright? Because that is a Capricorn card. So you you've been enlightened and awakened on the situation that you were manifesting. Okay? You're manifesting this with this person, okay? You're trying to manifest it. You're trying to heal it, okay? 
You're trying to heal it. You don't want any more confusion and conflict. Okay? You don't want any more the five of wands. You don't want any more confusion and conflict with this person. Holy, Holy Spirit, clarify the five of wands. Clarify the five of wands. Yeah, you want a new beginning. You want to try again. You want a new beginning. You want to fix it. Okay? Alright. You know this person's worth. And they may have Taurus in their chart. Okay? You know this person's worth. And you know it's going to be a struggle getting back what you guys had. Aries, you know this. But it, it's, it'll happen if you keep working towards it. It'll happen, okay? All right. But this has you up worrying all night that you may not get get back that stability with the person. Holy Spirit, clarify the Nine of Swords with that Capricorn who has Taurus in their chart. Or that's you. You, have, you may have Capricorn in your chart. The stability card. King of Pentacles. Okay, there you go. You want to move forward. You're worried about moving forward in a success with this person. Okay. You're praying, laying down, praying about it. Trying to figure it out. Trying to get God to help you in this situation. Because you want to take your... Ten of Wands to this person. You want to build your family with this person. Okay? I wish you luck. Okay, you guys don't... You don't have to worry so much on the signs. If this resonates with you, it's with whoever you're with. Okay? You know what's going on in your relationships. Okay? So if it resonates with you, that's you. You don't have to be fixated on the sign. Okay? Look at the story. The storyline. Okay, six of wands. Okay, so Aries, you want to move forward to a victory. Holy Spirit, clarify the six of wands. Clarify the six of wands. Okay, the king of pentacles. So you're thinking on how to get this victory. And the, the thing about the King of Pentacles, that's what they do. They just sit and think. Okay, so you're going to be taking your time and moving forward to this victory with this person, okay? And it seems like you're trying to be deceiving in the situation, okay? All right? This person, this person is married in a relationship. Okay? Where they're going through a tower moment, Aries, with this person that they're married to. Okay? Due to secrets being in their marriage. Okay? And they, they don't have balance in the marriage. Okay? This temperance card. There's no balance. Okay? Yep. In the marriage. Four of Wands. There's no traveling, no fun, no excitement in the marriage. The four of wands. Holy Spirit, clarify the four of wands. Okay, yeah, there's endings. Okay. All right. And this is with the Libra. Okay. Yep, they're having endings with the Libra. Okay. And they're wanting a new... This person is wanting a new beginning. Okay. There you go. They're going to have new beginnings and growth. With a Gemini. You may have Gemini in your chart, Aries. Okay, but this worry card, this has them up worrying all night. This new, this. Mm. 
or the Libra, the person that they're with, that they had an ending with, which is a Libra, they're having a new beginning and growth with the Gemini person. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay. Yep. And this has the person you want to be with that you're thinking about coming into up worrying all night. This new beginning, the person that they went through a tower moment with, they're worrying about them being with the Gemini, starting a new beginning with the Gemini. Holy Spirit, clarify the Nine of Swords. Clarify the Nine of Swords. Okay, yeah, this is this is has conflict and confusion going on between the person you want to come into. And with this is a Virgo person you want to come into. Yeah. They're having this Virgo's having conflict and confusion with this King of Swords due to this Gemini. Okay? Yep. They're having conflict. And confusion. Yep. Within stability. Due to this Gemini. It's, it's, it's causing them a loss of stability. Okay. This Virgo's heartbroken. Okay. Trying to. Due to a Pisces Cancer Scorpio. Who this Libra probably has in their chart. Okay. Yep. And they're feeling out in the cold. Yep. A loss. Feeling at a loss. So that's what's going on with the person that you want to move forward in a victory with, Aries. Okay? So be patient with the person. Allow them to go through their ending. Okay? Know that they're going through their issues. Okay? So you may get what you want. All right, Seven of Pentacles. Okay, you want growth. Thinking of growth, you have growth on your mind, Aries. Holy Spirit, clarify this Seven of Pentacles. Clarify this Seven of Pentacles, Holy Spirit. Okay, yeah, you want growth in a situation with someone that's going through some conflict and confusion. Five of Wands, Holy Spirit, clarify. Clarify this Five of Wands, Holy Spirit. And that's a Cancer card, so it might be with the Cancer they're going through this with. Okay, yeah, you see this person as your soulmate. Okay. This person is a Gemini. Aries. So, or it's saying you you do have growth with uh you have growth the seven of pentacles with someone you are going through conflict and confusion with. And you see this person as your soulmate, and this person is a Gemini. Okay. Holy Spirit clarified the lover's card. Okay, yeah. But you want a new beginning and growth. Okay? With a Taurus or a Virgo. Taurus Virgo person. High Priestess. Very intuitive person. Somebody that knows all. They probably know you want to be with them, Aries. <laughs> they probably know everything you're feeling. Know everything you think. This is a psychic person. They see y'all. Holy Spirit, clarify the high priestess. Yeah, but you want to build a relationship with this high priestess person. Holy Spirit, clarify the three of pentacles. Clarify the three of pentacles, Holy Spirit. Clarify 
clarify the three pinnacles okay yeah so this person aries that's you the king of wands it at least satisfies you okay i we, i hope you get what you want okay you have to move on out of your situation that you're in first with this gemini and then come in to the person that you do want okay and i wish you luck with that i hope you get what you want i wish everybody happiness okay okay you guys that's the end of your reading all right i hope you enjoyed the reading please subscribe like and share the video again i thank all my subscribers i thank all that view the video all right stay tuned to my channel for more god bless you guys love peace and happiness i'm out